welcome back to the channel Blackburn Beyond how is everybody doing I thought I'd get my camera out and come for a walk we're just in Cedar Square now all the little cafes starting to open up as spring is upon us and then all this area here Blackpool Council put out in spring and summer for people to sit down and eat some picnics. They do actually take the tables away at night, otherwise there wouldn't be any here in the morning. But it's a nice little area here in St John's Square. Like I said, just behind me is Cedar Square. Winter Gardens over there. And you might get a che cheeky glimpse of the tower now. How's that? Yeah, so I'm just going to go out on a walk today. Been working quite a bit, so I haven't got out. So just sort of give you my version of Blackpool and have a wander around. Yeah, spring's definitely coming now, isn't it? Fintro Lounge there. Recommend that place to eat. Even though there's lots of places to eat in Blackpool, just show you around where we come from. I'm just in Abingdon Street now, I just need to go along here to a shop. And then we'll have a wander through the uh, rest of town. And we'll have a little wander down onto the seafront, shall we? Yes, I hope you're all doing well. It's glad to be out again doing some of this, getting some exercise. Just cross the road here and show you something. Yeah, you've got the Abingdon Street Market, which is uh, taking progress. As most of you know, it all closed down in lockdown. Um, the guy that owned it went bust, I think, and Blackpool Council bought it and they changed it into a, um, you know, eating place, patisserie, a little bit more upmarket. I think it's going to have a licensed bar in it. So, yeah, they're progressing with that. I'm not sure of any opening dates. But, yeah, that's going to be the new Abingdon Street Market different style not Ganga style but different style Greg's I said yes for drink nail places they're always full of nail places nail places tattoo parlours and vape shops yeah there you go anyway anybody else is town full of what I just mentioned hello mate uh, I'll tell you what it's lovely now you know the wind's really dropped Definitely a feeling of spring in the air. Anyway, we'll just have a whiz down here, around the front. I know you've all been missing me. I better give you a time check, hadn't I? For those that like to know. Monday the 3rd of April, 4.30 in the afternoon. Yeah. 
just do some people watching. You know where we all are. I don't really have to describe it, do I? <laughs> yeah, we're on the Primark Straight now, as I call it. Well, I do anyway. I'll tell you why it's cold here now, I haven't been in the sun. I was walking into the sun and that was quite nice. I can feel the difference now. Don't forget, for a treat to remember, you can also visit Seaside Blackpool and Madame Tussauds Blackpool. With the big ticket, you can enter into Merlin's seven amazing Blackpool attractions. And this is the to you. Find your inside of the name of Yeah, look at the sun there. See the difference? Yeah, we'll nip along the front in a minute. famous central drive in front of us we're not going down there today we're just gonna nip round the corner show you the uh, new big multi-story car park show you the progress of that it's gone up very very quickly and then we'll have a wander along the front we're not chit-chatting too much today just let you take the sightseeing and see what's going on. Yeah, you can see the car park progressing over there in the distance, I think. A little bit of wind about. go right into the car park but I'll just show you the progress of this multi-story car park yeah that's it in the distance there progressing very fast Strong smell of marijuana. No surprise walking around in Blackpool. Yeah, 
Yeah, and for those that didn't watch the last video, there's a glimpse of the old Bonnie Street Market there. Well, we're going to venture on this promenade. Look how busy it is. Hey, half term Easter. Right, let's take you down here on the front, and then we'll cross the road and walk back on the seafront to show you how busy it is. Busy, busy in Blackpool. Certainly busy down here. We're not even into the weekend because you have to take into account most parents are working with kids. So, uh, unless they've taken holiday, there's a lot of people here. Busy, busy in Blackpool, but it's not even the weekend. Central Pier. Yeah, we'll get on the piers when I can very shortly. But yeah, look at it all. No, we never really close here. But look how busy it is. There's that tower. Right, let's get you down on the front. This bag I've got on my back is heavy. I've been out shopping in between filming and I'm weighed down. Boom, boom, look. That bowl, absolutely full up. We do like to party in Blackpool. Right, let's get you on the beach. Look at this, hey? Great, isn't it? Let's go and see some donkeys. I've been at work, innit? Sandcastles. Donkeys.
There you go. Central pier there. The big one there in the distance, if you can see it. South Pier. Silhouette of the sea coming with the sun. Got to love it, haven't you? So who wishes they were here now? I know somebody that does. I hope that's coming out good, looks really good. The tide is so, so far out. Kids on the beach. We're only at the beginning of April. Beautiful blue skies as well. Donkey rides, very popular today. Well, I enjoyed that anyway, even if you didn't. Give you one final glimpse. Spoons, Albert, and the lion having a bit of work done out the front there. Let's have a walk along the headlands. Yeah, more of a people watching day. Really, this is the week that Blackpool opens up fully now, even though we're never closed here. As most of you know from my videos and other people's videos, we don't close. We're always open. Oh.
Beach house there. Sit on that terrace, take them sunbeams in. Right, see if we can get across this road. That was easy. Oh. Cannabis flavoured candy floss. I wonder what I could smell. Poppers. I think the Easter holidays cover over about a two week period, don't they? This week, obviously, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday are big days up here. And then the rest of next week, certain schools vary. Whew. Dead spear weather. North Pier over there. Yeah, I'll try and get on there in a couple of days. I need to start doing a bit more still photography and whacking the pictures on Instagram. So don't forget, if you do view it and you have subscribed to this, I've got an Instagram channel. If any of you want to message me privately about anything. I'm a bit lazy on posting on that as well, but yeah, Instagram channels platform beyond. I should start posting on that. I like to come out and do still photography with my camera as well. Sometimes I do still photography and I put a roll in, a roll in film of still photography on the channel, which I've done one or two. I should come and do a few more. But I need to come out without this camera and just come out with my still camera so I can concentrate. Counting else over there in the brown, in the brown. And that building there is an Airbnb, very inclusive apartments up there. It used to be the Bank of Scotland trilogy. The three piers. And the Premier Inn, which of course used to be the old Yates's. Just over here next to Trilogy, you've got the little black pub bar. Tucked away, well worth a visit there as well. I'm starting to feel exhausted, especially with this clothing I've got on and this backpack I've got on, full of rubbish I've brought. Yeah. 
back on Talbot Road now. There's a couple of new bars up here that I'd also recommend. Sports bar and music bar. They're fairly new, they've only been up a couple of months. Well, it's not a hidden place, but it's a place people don't look for. But we're just coming up to it now. Big Cat Sports Bar. Good prices in here. Good prices in here. And then they've opened another place next door to it as well. Called Solutions Bar. But yeah, get yourself down here to Big Cats and get yourself a beer. The station. That used to be Malloy's. Got the gallon bar down there, the gallon bar on Lavington Street. And this Vic here. There's another buzzy little place on a Friday and a Saturday night with a DJ playing music. The Victoria, very traditional, old style pub.
Back up at the top end of Talbot Road now. All those hills coming on well, isn't it? Oh, glad I've seen that chemist. I need my prescription. Exactly. Let's get in there and get it. Nearly forgot the last thing I had to do. And now we're on Dixon Road, heading towards home. I walk up here a bit with you. Looking forward to sitting down, carrying all these bags. Oh, a nice smell of something there. Springfield Road and that takes you up to the station up there Cuban Bar Duke of York pubs are good pubs, it's quite expensive. Um, it's one of these pubs that's quite quiet till about 10 o'clock at night on a Friday and a Saturday. They do karaoke in there, they've got a big screen showing this, the football in there. Mind you, there are a few cheaps of pub, pubs around, but there are not many, so I suppose they are on par with everybody else. But yeah, quite close to the seafront, which is down there by North Pier, if you've never seen it. Right, the rest of it's going to get boring now, so I'm going to stop the video, just show you down Dixon Road, and say goodbye to you, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, if you do like my videos, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, look out for some photographs on Instagram, which is Platform Beyond, and thank you all again.